Yes, they give, you, they give you lots of room here, though. Yeah. Oh, great. What is this? Harvey's basement water. Water pump's off, babe. Okay. So there's just pressure in the system. I'm not sure. Nope, it's on again. Okay. So it took, you know, a minute. So I just turned it off. Yes. Okay. So you think that that alert was just... No, I think the water sensor down there detected something, but yeah. it's probably just a splash coming in from the wet bay or something. Yeah, every... I got to seal around our wet bay a little bit better because whenever water gets to the wet bay, it should drain out, yeah. not inside to the RV. Those sensors are so good that even just a little tiny bit of water, it detects. Yeah, and it's at the low point, so any water, even a few drips in there, go right to that spot. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good, it's what we want, but yeah. we've had a lot of false alarms. This dog look like she doesn't get taken care of. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this dog looked like she just rubbed her face all over the bed. You care, dog? You puppy. There's no good way to tell you, but I'm leaving you here tonight. And I swear tonight with God as my witness, you were important to me. Sometimes. So this is one of the rare times we're not actually going to eat in the RV because the rest area that we were going to stop at for lunch was closed and the rest areas here on I-40 are spread out like 45 to 90 minutes apart. So we're in a Buckeyes, Bucky's, Buckeyes, Bucky's? We're in a Bucky's parking lot, got a Bucky sandwich and we're just going to eat in the truck. That was the first ever Bucky's sandwich I've had. I got the Club Melt. I think it had bacon and ham and turkey and cheese. Oh, you just said her favorite. Oh, She's like, what? Cheese? My favorite. <laughs> I happen to have something really right here. I just got a protein thing. Turkey. Cheese. <laughs> Egg. I guess there's some almonds in here. And then I got unhealthy chips because... Why not? I want them. Okay, a little bite of cheese. Guys, just so you know, I did ask him before he turned on the camera if he wanted any. What, what, he said no. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Making a daisy side. Daisy, gets, daisy gets cheese twice look at, a look day. Look in the morning and at night before bed because we have to wrap her little heart medication in it. And so she's very fond of the cheese. What are you doing up there? No, you stay. You stay there. I'll bring it to you. This is what you want. And I'm going to bring it to you. <laughs> as, as Chad laughs. <laughs> okay, just a minute. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Daisy. Daisy. I bet she'd come out for cheese. Cheese? <laughs> there she is. Is it time for the cheese? It, she just got some nice chatter. And we met Jeff and Cindy, who are in this toy hauler in front of us here in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. They watch our channel, so that's always fun. And now we just continue on our way to... Two and a half hours left. Nashville. Now. We have an hour and a half left. Are you? Did you have enough of a break? I did. I'm good. Okay, then. When we were leaving Pinola, the guy that stopped you with the dog that was asking about how we did with the dip, mm. he said, ooh, Elm Hill, you'll love it. It's great. It's a gorgeous place with the peninsula right in, in the lake there. So that's exciting. Yeah, I look forward to that. Yeah. It's like it's a good thing we didn't have to drive into Nashville with all yeah, that. Yeah, Nashville. It's like a real cluster. Yeah. Cluster of fun. <laughs> cluster of fun. Not the word I was looking for, but yeah, it's better. I'll help you out. <laughs> what does it say? Yeah. Hotel RV Resort. Okay. That's not a very big sign for people with bad eyes like me. Oh, he's flashing you. Thank you, sir. Here. 
realizes there's no hope. That was awful nice, that person. You're so nice. Big old thank you, sir. It is raining very lightly. I'm not gonna say anything else about it. We don't need these, but if we didn't put them on, it would be raining, well, like crazy torrential rain. And this is a back insight that we're going to, and we've got to get the bike out. So I'm hoping that we can do this fast. really nice. It's very nice. You look Daisy, a nice paved walking for you. Oh, it's your favorite. I got my mind blown. Wow, it looks like a big lake too. Yeah. Lake, big lake. Leg. <laughs> Big leg. Big leg. I'm going to side this one. Yeah. Oh, great. Up the hill. Oh, great. Is that truck going to be? No, yeah, but this thing might be a problem here. Let me go look at the side here. It doesn't really look long enough, does it? I mean, we could probably make it work. Are you sure you're okay, babe? Yeah. It looked like you took a pretty big spill, though. Oh, I know. We need to roll with it. Press one for reservations. Press two for RV Resort Office. We're down here at Site 20, and that's going to be very difficult for us to get into with, with our 45-foot rig. Is, is there any chance you can move us to Site 15? That big structure across from the site is what's really going to be a problem. Hang on just a second. Of course. Thank you. Thanks. Uh huh. I don't have anything available currently for the length of your stay. Well, all we can do is um, try to get in, I guess. You can't get in because of the swinging of it or just the length of it? But a little bit of both, I think. It doesn't look long enough to hold our RV. And also, I don't think we can get it in there with that structure across from with the, with the uh, truck swing. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to give it a yeah. shot. Um, if you need a hand, well, there's a cell that works on the property, we can get down there and help do whatever we need to do to that. Okay, babe, the end of the uh, RV is at me. Make you work so. See how you're doing with that obstacle across the way from our site. So hopefully you can see it. I can, but I'm coming out wide. I'm gonna have to cut it a little tighter. Oh, it looked like you were doing a pretty good job here. Yeah, on that end. Am I further than I was before? Um, yeah, like a foot. You're pretty darn close to this Ram truck. You are on the site. You see that by the front driver's side tire is you're real close to that big rock. I just right now for that. Okay, I'm looking good here. Okay, cool. I'm coming back. Okay, baby, let me move this picnic table out of the way. Sweet old Tennessee, it feels so good to me. I have to come forward a few feet to the left and try to get it, try to cut it back to that side. The back end is off of the um, is off of the pad. Just the back end of the trailer. The tires still have have tons of space to go back. So how many room to maneuver here? Yeah, I know. Sweet old Tennessee, feels so good to me. Ran away, but I'm coming clean. Sweet old Tennessee. 
Might want to move that golf cart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is fun, good times, good times. At least the guy said that anybody who parks in this site, if they have a big rig, that it's, it's a big struggle. Sometimes the whiskey needs ice. Sweet old Tennessee, feels so good to me. Ran away, but I'm coming clean. Sweet old Tennessee, come on. That was fun. That was not fun. <laughs> that, that, this might be in the top five trickiest sites to get yeah. into. Yeah. It's that brown stand structure they've got over I there. I don't know, but we're hoping that all the struggle was worth it and the rain and all that because check out our view. Wow. Pow. Bam. Now, That's gonna there's be awesome. a lot of storms coming tonight, and it's supposed to be gnarly, they said, so <laughs> let's get let's We're get already started. feeling kind of gnarly, yeah. Let's I get... mean, look at me. I am gnarly already. Yeah, yeah, there you are. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Sometimes you can tell when a site has been laid out by a non-RVer. For instance, that thing right there, but also little things like this. The cap is facing that way, so I can't just run the hose in. I gotta make a little roundabout to get into it. Little silly things like that. This is gonna be our second site using this new braided hose. All right, it is time to investigate that water detected thing from our ring alarm system, which is behind this wall back there. Luckily, it's not windy, so I can have the awning out here to kind of cover this area. A little bit of dribbles of water here and there, but I need to pull this wall and see what's what behind there. Like nothing down here, I don't get it. I don't know where this, these dribbles of water are coming from. Just little tiny dribbles. Water right there. Tiny, tiny amount of water. I don't know what the deal is. I got more sweat on my forehead than was on the ground there. I just don't know where it's coming from. RV life frustration. It's still raining, but that's all right. You made it in and dinner is served. It rained all night, but now we put the patio down. Check out our view. Ta-da! Nice place for morning coffee. Very nice. You like it, Daisy? Daisy likes it. Oh, she is so messy. Look at that. Did you get caught in the rain? Now that it's not raining, this is the site we would like to have. Look at that. This is some of the stuff that you don't ever see in our videos, but it's everyday occurrence for me. We just ate and it's time for me to lay down. I was actually laying down before lunch too. It's a rough day for me. Um, when you have chronic illnesses like me, you gotta rest whenever your body says to rest. Here we are in Nashville. We've never really been here before and this is our third day. We haven't done a thing yet and it's all because of me. So it's time to pack a bag just in case. 
a little storm preparedness never hurt. Get some of our important stuff together. Like that one, like this one. Oh, thunder. We haven't had the best weather so far in this location. A little bit. Looks pretty out there right now, but. Oh, you hear that? And I'm gonna, now the camera's ready. Yeah. Anything else? You wanna add while you're stuffing your face? Underwear. You wanna change your underwear just in case? <laughs> I can report that there's no leaking. Screw now. I did. <laughs> really see through the screen. You're so nice. He's going outside in this rain because he sees he sees our neighbors struggling with their awning. Oh, they got it in. Oh, they got it in? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I got, but listen. I, I go with Slima. It did it. It worked the same way it works for me. It's like Chad's coming. It's fixed. Yep. Yeah, just fixes itself. Yeah. Well, now you don't have to go out in that. Oh my gosh. We are going to the Opry. It's steamy. It, it just rained here. And then it's, it's been like in the 90s and super hot. Yeah. Definitely feeling the lower elevation here versus the smoke. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it is. It's, it feels like 100% humidity out there. The sun finally came out though, it's exciting. And this is our fourth day in, in Nashville, and we've gone nowhere. Where did we go? We went to... We didn't go anywhere. Nowhere. Didn't we go to the nope. drugstore? <laughs> we went to Walgreens. Does that count? It's my fault. Well, you've been sick. It's not yeah. your fault. That's the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. That's the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> but they're doing it fast. So they're it's like, okay. They're like, if we make it quick, it won't count. It doesn't matter. All right, we got to get moving because we are, we have tickets for four o'clock. For the Grand Ole Opry tour. Backstage tour. But we're not huge country music fans. We just don't, I don't know. I haven't liked any new songs since 1994. Whether it's country or. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> They give tours all day long. Every 15 minutes or so, there's a tour that they take you on. I think it's about an hour and it takes you behind the scenes and backstage and gives you a history of, of Grand Ole Opry and all that, all that jazz. You know, we love tours. Yeah. We want to take the trolley tour downtown, but they're open air and it's so stinking hot. No AC, yeah. There are a couple of cooler days coming up while we are still here. Hopefully we can take advantage of the cooler temps and get out and do some of the stuff outside. I also really, 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 really want to go to Leaper's Fork, mm -hmm. which is about an hour away. I look pretty cool. And today after the Opry, if we have time and if we feel like it, we're going to go to the Gaylord. It's Gaylord Opry lands. Looks huge. Yes, we're just going to wing it. I don't know how much I'll be able to do today because I haven't been feeling well, but it's nice to be out and about. So figuring out where to park wasn't as simple as we thought it was going to be. You know where the entrance is? That's <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Okay, thanks. How much? Jeez. We think we figured it out. We're in the pay section, I guess. Somebody said it's $35. We didn't know that until after we already got in here. There's a sign right here that says welcome and there's an arrow that's saying pedestrian walkway to Opry House. So that's what we're gonna do. I hope it's right, because we only have 20 minutes until our tour starts. Parking price says zero, uh, up to 12 hours, $20. That's weird that the guy said $35. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be too busy, considering that's the parking lot. <laughs> this is Saturday afternoon, by the way. Yeah, right after a big storm, so maybe it cleared people out. Maybe, or the, or they offer so many tours all day long that maybe it's just maybe that it's never super packed at one time. I don't. Yeah. What do you guys know? Do you know? Tell us. Tell us now.
Let's take a walk down a dusty lane And we can sit by the river in the middle of the day And let the world go by, just you and I How'd you like the tour? Oh, we're gonna uh, recap it now? I liked it. I think it was really neat. I liked it too. Not big country fans, but I thought it was kind of neat just because growing up and staying at my grandparents, they were huge country fans. Yeah. And I was subjected to hee-haw every weekend I spent over there. <laughs> I didn't realize that hee-haw was filmed there. Yeah, that's kind of neat. So it was neat because first you walk in the back entrance where the, the artists and the performers come in, and then you go behind the scenes and you see where all the magic happens behind the scenes. A place outside of town, it's the prettiest little spot around. It's got everything that we need, just come and see. You get to see all the dressing rooms, which is kind of neat. They kind of all the dressing rooms, yep. And yeah. then there's that special area where they show another short film, which is where Hee Haw was filmed, which was cool. Because, I mean, I remember Hee Haw too as a kid. You think you could learn to love a feller like me? Well, yeah, if he wasn't too much like you. Pick me up when you feel low down. And we'll go dogging round this town. When the situation's aggravate, get yourself to motivate. Where the lights are bright at night when the sun goes down. And then you get to go on stage and if you want the picture that they take of you it's 25 dollars more <laughs> what's so, really weird is they print out the picture for you to buy right there and i guess if you don't buy it they just throw it away yeah so. they don't give you they don't give you an online like downloadable option you can get it if you pay 25 dollars. again i guess we're just being cheap today we took a selfie not on the circle where the stars stand, but we still took a selfie on the stage, so we were like, that's fine. The circle's neat. Yeah. They brought that from the original place. Yeah. And... The only thing I didn't like was the welcome video that they played that was obnoxiously loud, and I'm just noise sensitive, but you even thought it was way too loud. It was loud. I mean, it was so loud. It's, you know, maybe 10 minutes, so. It was well produced, the whole yes. room, the way they set it up, and it was very well done. I still just recommend the, the tour, it's just yeah. loud, bringing earplugs if you're noise sensitive. Yeah, just at like the very end of the, that, that thing, I think, was the worst part. I know you can't really tell by the pictures, because they wouldn't let us take video, and we didn't want to break the rules. They were but... pretty adamant and very, very specific yeah. at each juncture. No video of any kind for anything, yes. period. Yeah, and it was neat to see the wall with all the, the inductees to... Mm -hmm the members of the Opry or whatever. I wonder what they're going to do. They only have about two dozen blacks left in that whole thing. Well, they said they only do about two a year, so they got years. a few years. They got a few years to years. figure it out, I guess. Speaking of figuring it out, we're going to figure out dinner. We were going to go to the Opry land, the Gaylord. You know, we talked about that. And it's $35 to park there. Just to park and go spend money inside. I don't want to pay a grand total of $55 just to park in two different places for no, you can get it validated if you go to the steakhouse there, but I imagine that's like a two hundred dollar meal probably. So yeah. I don't know. I'm just and then we found a sushi place and we get here and it just does not. No, we should have done. Didn't didn't feel right here, so we're not going to go there. What? We should have just gone to Dave Buster's. They have food and games. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Right now on the list, he's got Subway, Whataburger, Jack in the Box, and <laughs> That's just what fast food popped up in the area, because we just figured we're going to just grab some food and take it back to the RV. Oh, gosh. Lame. Whataburger, Whataburger sounds good. We're going to go to Whataburger. Let's do it.